Welcome to all on this special Sunday, the day of Ethos Addison's, Brianna's, Marcus, Nicholas, Mika, Teja, Atu, Harper, Alessia, Eric, and Hazel's confirmation. Yay! Pretty awesome thing to happen. And guess what? It's, this is actually airing on the 20th. It's also Father's Day. So you can uh, wish Happy Father's Day as well. So we will begin with the uh, opening hymn. Take, oh, take me as I am. Summer, not what I shall be. Set your seal upon my heart and live in me. Take, oh, take me as I am. Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. O God of creation, you preside over land and sea, sunshine and storm. By your strength, pilot us. By your power, preserve us. By your wisdom, instruct us. And by your hand, protect us through Jesus Christ our Savior and Lord.
Music now your turn. So please turn on your mics. To be confirmed is to acknowledge God's promise to us that we got when we were baptized. We are here to confess our Christian faith, to ask for the guidance of the Holy Spirit, and to be sent forth in the life being disciples of Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let us pray, O oh God, thank you for being our light in life. Thank you for this past year when we have been studying for this confirmation, for all the experiences, the discussions, and life in our faith. We have been looking forward to this day. Be close to us and fill us with your Holy Spirit. Help us day by day to live in trust in you now and forever. Amen. Uh, in from Second Corinthians, as we work together with him, we urge you also not to accept the grace of God in vain. For he says, at an acceptable time I have listened to you, and on a day of salvation I have helped you. See now at the acceptable time, see now is the day of salvation. We are putting no obstacles in anyone's way, so that no fault may be found in our ministry. But as servants of God, we have commanded ourselves in every way, through great endurance, in afflictions, Hardship, climate, beating, imprisonment, riots, labor, sleepless nights, hunger, by purity, knowledge, patience, kindness, holiness of the spirit, genuine love, truthful speech, and the power of God, with the weapons of righteousness for all right hand and for the left, in honor and dishonor, in ill repute and good repute. We are intruders as impostors and yet are true as unknown and yet are well known. As dying and see we are alive, as punished as yet and yet not killed. As sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing everything. We spoke frank with you, Corinthians. Our heart is wide open to you. There is no restriction in our affections, but only in yours. In return, I speak as to children. Open wide your hearts also. The word of the Lord, thanks to be God. Hallelujah, we sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Hallelujah, we sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Hallelujah, we sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Hallelujah, we sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Christ the Lord to us said, I am wine, I am bread. I am wine, I am bread. Give to all who thirst and hunger. Now he sends us all out. Strong in faith, free of doubt. Strong in faith, free of doubt. Tell to all the joyful gospel. Hallelujah, we sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Hallelujah, we sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Hallelujah, we sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Hallelujah, we sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. When evening had come, Jesus said to the disciples, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they looked, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. 
And they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this? But even the wind and the sea obey him. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Oh. Your turn. I guess you all memorized your your assignments, right? We'll actually share the uh, assignment. Oh, you spoil the fun and put it through already recorded. That's okay. Now we'll listen to what you conferences have said. So it's an awesome work you have done. He sat down opposite to the treasury and watched the crowd putting money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow came in and put in two small copper coins, which are worth a penny in the modern world. Then he called his disciples and said to them, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all of those who are contributing to the treasury. For all of them have contributed out of their ambience, but she out of her poverty has put in everything she had, all she had to live on. Um, the reason I chose this story from the Bible is that I've always been the kind of person who considers putting all their effort into things admirable. So when I heard, first heard this story when I was nine, even back then, even though I might have not known why, but it spoke to me. And I believe that's partially why it stuck to me for such a long time. As in the story, the old widow puts all the money she has into the treasury as the rich people laugh at her. Jesus recognizes the fact that the widow donated all she had and he tells the others that they have no position to be laughing at her. I believe that this story really shows the moral of being humble and how everyone's belongings have a propor proportional value to them. Exactly like in the story, the copper coins were a laughable amount for the rich people and everything for the old widow. As the Bible states, se joka itsensä ylentää, se alennetaan. Well, I don't remember the exact phrase for it in English, but the meaning of it is that those who hire themselves are lowered, meaning that those who think too high of themselves are seen lower. Uh, to the end, about my own um, confirmation journey, as you'd call it. Um, well, of course, this year's confirmation classes were a bit different thanks to the pandemic. And being online wasn't exactly the most thrilling experience you could imagine. And having no real confirmation ceremony is a real bummer. But I also learned new things and my old knowledge about biblical terms was updated. For example, I've always imagined God as a bearded old man wearing a white robe. But as I learned during my confirmation classes, God has no real appearance or image, and this is just the most popul popular interpretation of him. I also learned more about the Ten Commandments and general, general Christian beliefs surrounding um, different kind of terms like creed, Ten Commandments, and religion as a whole. Okay, so next we're going to see Addison's mm -hmm. project. Would you, Do you feel are... comfortable, Addison, reading that? No. You don't feel comfortable. May I read it? Yes. Okay. My confirmation journey was definitely a journey. Because of COVID, it's more, way more challenging since I find online learning is a struggle. 
it's harder to remember and overall harder than in person. For me, the hardest part was waking up early West Coast time. I had a hard time with keeping on track with assignments, especially through email, but it was worth it. I learned a lot about God and the history of the Bible that I had no idea about. Would, would maybe one of the family members like to read it? I think that even though I had some struggles that I also had some strengths. I found myself a really good at paying attention during class. And even though I didn't participate as much as I would have liked to, I think I understood and retained most of the information. I really learned a lot from the, wrote, the readings during class and the ones we did on our own at home. I also learned to pray and before confirmation, I never really had before. Confirmation is very important. It gives me a chance to connect with God and learn about the Bible. Confirmation gives me the opportunity to practice my faith. I learned a lot in confirmation life, the origin of the Bible, and from the stories from the Bible. Job 12, 7 to 10. But ask the animals, and they will teach you, or the birds in the sky, and they will tell you, or speak to the earth, and it will teach you, or let the fish in the sea inform you. Which of all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this? In his hand is the life of every creature and the breath of all mankind. I chose this scripture because I really care about nature and this verse really reflects on that. I feel that we only have one earth and that we should treasure and take care of it. When the scripture says, speak to the earth and it will teach you, it means a lot to me because I believe everyone has a connection to the earth and that if people would stop and enjoy it, it could change their lives. Hi, my name is Alessia Burr and I'm a grade eight and I'm very much looking forward to being in high school. I'm also a competitive swimmer, but I've not had the opportunity to be training in person this year. Because of the pandemic restrictions, much like confirmation, I've had the opportunity to be doing online Zoom workouts. Today, I have the pleasure of sharing my unique confirmation experience. As you may know, due to the pandemic, all of my confirmation classes were online via Zoom. Although very different than doing in-person learning, I was so happy to know my confirmation classes would continue. Confirmation means strengthening one's relationship with God, as it is a rite of passage practiced by many Christian groups. For me, it was all that and so much more. It was a great experience where I got to learn and have fun with my peers. Every morning to start off the class, we had fun questions like, what weather are you today? Or the plant you would be. I've been attending the Agricola Church all my life. I was baptized there at the age of nine months, and I attend the church with my mom, brother, and mommy. And sometimes my dad joins us. Some of the things I miss at going to the Agricola Church are attending the amazing services and eating their delicious polo. My confirmation was something I've been looking forward to. I remember all the things my brother did when he went to confirmation. Although I was not able to do the activities he did, like the garage sale or car wash, I'm so happy I was able to do the confirmation. I'm so grateful for Pastor Maddie and Pastor Pamela. They both taught confirmation class in a fun and educational way that I could understand and relate to. Although I never had the opportunity to meet my peers in person, I was glad to be able to share this learning experience with them. Confirmation taught me about the Lutheran religion that I follow. It gave me an understanding of the history and values of what I'm a part of. The class gave me a feeling of more grateful for what I have in my life. One of the verses I liked most was in the reading I did. It was from the first Corinthian verse, 18. The message about the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved it is the power of God. I connected with this line because it described the meaning of the cross. As we were near the end of confirmation year together, I looked back at the educational and fun experience I had on every Sunday. I would like to say a special thank you to Pastor Maddie and Pastor Pamela for creating this virtual confirmation class that allowed me to strengthen my relationship with God. I look forward to being able to go to the Agricola Church in person to enjoy lovely service and eat some amazing pola. Thank you. Hi, I'm Brianna and I participated in this year's confirmation class. Confirmation class was a great experience this year. 
At first, it was a little strange being online without the regular experience in a church setting. As time went on, everyone was able to adjust and connect on a spiritual level. One of the most important things I'll take from this experience is the memories, the lessons we learned every class, and the prayers we shared together. My most memorable lesson was when we spoke about God creating the earth. As a child, I also never really understood what Christmas was about. Being able to dive deep into the origin and being able to discuss the meaning gave me a new understanding about different aspects of the holiday that I didn't understand before. There was never a boring class, always an interactive activity that gave us students a chance to learn while still having fun. I'm extremely grateful that we were able to get together while such hard things are going on around the world. Even though we can't be together in person, at this time, we are still able to come together in virtual setting and continue to learn about God and the Bible. This confirmation class has opened up a new world for me. Before I started, I never knew very much about the Bible. With the readings we would share together, the videos and conversations about God brought a new light on how I perceive things. Throughout my life, I struggled deeply with rough experiences and never really seemed to understand the lessons completely. Learning to always have faith and that everything happens for a reason has helped me grow and be able to accept certain experiences as lessons. Learning about God and having the ability to get insight on verses I may not have understood before helped me understand my faith and grow as a person. The kindness and thoughtfulness experience while participating will always be appreciated. It was great being able to share this experience with my sister and learn alongside her. We were both baptized together by our great uncle Derek, and now that we took this confirmation with one another, it feels great to know that we're taking this journey together. I would like to take the time to thank the pastors and everyone who helped make this ex amazing experience happen, as well as the students involved in the learning process of the confirmation class. The verse I chose to speak that speaks to me is from Psalm 73, 26. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. I chose this first verse because it represents that no matter what happens or how you feel, that God will always be with you. Hello, my name is Eric, and today I'll be talking about my, com my entire confirmation experience. First, I'll be talking about why I joined confirmation class. Originally, I actually didn't want to join confirmation class, but my parents actually convinced me to do it. So like, I kind of felt the need to, and I definitely didn't regret it in the end because it was definitely a good experience for me. Next, I'm gonna talk about how I felt during the classes so far in confirmation class. At the very beginning, I'm not going to lie, I was kind of like scared and bored during it because I didn't know what to expect. But near like the end, I, I began to get a feeling of excitement and I felt getting more happy, you know, because of the difficult times at the current moment. Yeah, the pastor we had was actually very nice. Um, and our sport, he would never like bring us down throughout the confirmation class you would always like accept any answers we had like no there's no right or wrong answers it's just like whatever you believe in yeah basically that's uh now i'm going to talk about what i basically learned in confirmation class firstly i learned like these are the big things i learned i'm not going to be talking about little things okay firstly i learned that god has our bag no matter what happens i actually didn't know this i thought that we were like like you know sometimes we're alone in the world but Clearly, we're not alone because I feel like God, I've learned that God, he ha he's there for us when we need him. And he's there to comfort us. You know what I'm trying to say? Uh, secondly, I learned that there are three types of things. The, there's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I actually didn't know this before. This is actually something very new to me. And basically, yeah... Oh, and actually, okay, I'm not going to lie. Um, I didn't know when Jesus, I couldn't tell when Jesus um, was born and obviously passed away and, and risen again. So I actually found out that he was born on Christmas Day. He passed away on Good Friday and raised on the Sunday, which I actually didn't know before. 
Okay, now I'm gonna move on to my last thing. And last thing I learned that we're going to make mistakes. We're gonna make mistakes. I learned that we're gonna make mistakes, but God will forgive us, you know? Cause like, we're not perfect human beings. And like, he has our back. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, no matter what we do, and no matter what we say, we make mistakes. So it's not like, it's not like we're gonna get like, like a lecture on why we did it. Like maybe we will by my parents, but he knows that we made a mistake and he knows that we deserve forgiveness for it. So yeah. So basically throughout this whole confirmation experience, I just felt like more at peace, you know? Like I didn't feel as stressed. I felt our comfort and I just felt like it was a big piece in my in my lifetime and then I just felt like hopefully Hopefully something like this can happen again. And I know it's not over yet. We still have like one or two more months yet. But like this is just like how my confirmation experience gone so far. Maybe it'll get better in the next two months. I, I wouldn't I, I would be I wouldn't be surprised if it did get better. But yeah, you, you never know. Okay, so yeah, that's basically my confirmation experience. I I hope the you guys, um whoever's watching this thinks the same thing and thinks that confirmation class was a good idea but if not it's okay you know like it's not for everyone it's just it's just if you need it okay all right so bye i keep fighting voices in my mind that say i'm not enough Every single lie that tells me I will never measure up Am I more than just the sum of every high and every low? Remind me once again just who I am because I need to know Today, I am going to tell you what I think confirmation means to me in a form of a poem. C. Community. O. Orth. N. New languages. F. Fate. I. Inspiration. R. Responsibility. M. Maturity. A. Accepting. T. Traditions. I. Inviting. O. Observe. N. New chapter. These are two verses that I think are important to know. John 4, 8 He that loved that not nothing, not God, for God is loved. And Palms 37, 3 Trust in the Lord and do good 
although shall dawn in the land and variety though shall be fed. Hey there, fellow Confirmation youth. Uh, my name is Marcus Jokinen, and um, well, I wanted to share my experience with Confirmation with you guys. So, uh, just to start, I wanted to tell you guys which uh, verse I chose for my Confirmation project. So it was Joshua um, 1 to 8, dash 9. So, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord, your God, will be with you wherever you go. So, uh, I chose this verse because, you know, sometimes life can get you down. But when I read this passage, it kind of lifts me up. It kind of makes me feel better. Um, and it motivates me to be, like, strong and have, uh, you know, just to have courage in general. And though things in life can be, you know, kind of scary sometimes and... They don't always go the way we want them to be. Uh, you know, you shouldn't be afraid or get too discouraged because God is always with you. And, you know, he'll he'll just be watching over you and make sure, you know, nothing bad happens to you. So at the beginning, I, you know, I guess could be different to many others, but uh, confirmation wasn't a big priority for me, which is somewhat uh strange i guess when it comes to certain people because they're very connected with the lord for a long time but uh, when i started confirmation class i was kind of uh, distant from god and the lord so you know going through this whole experience has just brought me closer and uh you know it, it's been really nice to hang out with or be in the confirmation class on zoom with all of my other different confirmation youth and i think that's been a really good time because during this time of covid19 you can't really go out and uh, do anything with friends so it's been a pretty interesting and fun experience to just do confirmation in general with uh everybody there uh and also just uh pastor Matte and uh, pastor pamela and have made this whole experience so much fun uh, and very interactive with all the videos and everything different that they've kind of introduced into the program. I think 
me, even though we might have had some uh, difficult times with technical difficulties, I think it's all gone pretty well. And, you know, I really appreciate all the effort that's been put into it. And just to, you know, despite the fact that we haven't gotten the full confirmation experience, that we've basically gotten uh, a very, well, uh, very interesting and very uh, great rendition of the confirmation program in terms of an online class, which I think is, uh, you know, really, really great. Thank you. That's my little presentation. My experience during confirmation class was very nice. I got to meet a lot of new people and learn more about the Bible. I had a lot of fun talking about certain subjects and they include by readings, answering questions, and being able to talk about ourselves and how we feel. During confirmation class, I got to learn so many new things I haven't learned before. This has been a very special experience, especially because of us having to do it online. That didn't stop me from learning more about the Bible and meeting new people. I'm so glad that I was able to enter this class. I would say the verse that speaks to me is, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of our mercies and all, and God of all the com all comfort, who comforts us in affliction, so we may be able to comfort those who are in affliction with comfort with which ourselves are comforted by God. <laughs> This speaks to me because I am normally the type of person to be there for someone when needed. I am always there to talk to someone in need, especially my friends and family. I feel like this verse connects me with my personality and how I am as a person. To conclude, my experience during confirmation class is that I got to learn a bunch of new things and I was able to I was really grateful to be included in such a wonderful class. And I am so proud to say that I will graduate soon. This is a really proud achievement I soon made. And my family and friends have been cheering me on since day one of this class. I'm so determined to learn and do more things in the future about the Bible. I would like to do, I would like to dedicate my class to my mom, who has been recovering in the hospital and I know she was so proud of Mika, Brianna, and I. This has been such a wonderful family experience, especially because my cousin and sister were in my confirmation class, which was very supportive that we all got to learn with each other about the Bible. A few years ago, I was baptized with my sister by my great uncle, Derek, and now he can see me and my sister become confirmed. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mika Lepala, and I'm going to be talking about my journey through confirmation. And I'm going to be starting off with who I am, what what struggles I've been having throughout this time, and my passage to that I've chosen. So, I'm just turned 21 and just finished my third year of university of criminology at Ontario Tech University. That was a interesting time to do online schooling. It was difficult, but I got through it and juggling school, work, army reserves and doing this was a bit of a struggle trying to keep it all together, trying to do everything on time. But I've enjoyed myself doing everything that I've done, especially doing this. It's nice to have some sort of interaction with other people because I know with my classes, there wasn't really any and doing this every Sunday gave me more opportunity to talk to people, learn new things, and it was a good experience to go through. I liked coming here every Sunday with my morning coffee, drinking it and waking up slowly, but slow and learning everything that was presented to us. And I hope to see everyone together again when things get better, we can all come together and enjoy our class that we never really got to have before. And for the passage that I've chosen, it was, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. I resonate with this quote because it's nice to think about someone's always there for you to guide you through the past, present and future. There's gonna be someone to help you along the way and you don't ever feel alone, especially during times like these, you can feel alone 
with always being at home, not being able to go out and see everyone. So it's nice that I think that there's someone with you and they will love you and care for you. And that's why I chose this quote because it's nice to have that bond. And yeah, I hope to see everyone again sometime, hopefully in person. It would be a great opportunity to catch up with everything. And yeah, hope to see you guys soon. Bye. I think this year's confirmation class was good. I wish I could have get to know everyone better and had a confirmation camp, but I'm really happy that we still got the main point down, which is getting confirmed. With the work, sometimes filming the readings were hard and stressful because there's school and life happening at the same time, but in the end, it was good. Here's the reading that I chose. Yura said to his brothers, what will we gain if we kill our brother and cover up his blood? Come, let's tell him to the Ish Ishmaelites and not lay, lay our hands on him. After all, he's our brother, our own flesh and blood. His brothers agreed. So when the Midianite merchants came by, his brothers pulled Joseph up out of the cistern and sold him for 20 shekels of silver to the Ishmaelites who took him to Egypt. I chose this because it's one of the first readings I've ever heard from the Bible, and in that way the most meaningful. In these past couple months, I've learned a lot about the Bible and God, and overall I'm really glad and thankful that we all did it and we all got confirmed. Attending confirmation classes is a choice. And so is wanting to be confirmed. So, as goes with all the life, life is full of choices, isn't it? We made a choice of doing uh, this online. Anita, Addison, Brianna, Marcus, Nicholas, Mika, Teja, Artu, Harper, Alessia, Eric, and Hazel, last year, last fall, you all made a choice to attend. 
and I am very happy. I am very happy you joined the confirmation. I hope you have good memories of this time together and that you might even learn a thing or two. Because it was not an easy journey for any of us to go through this confirmation experience on Zoom. And I know I for sure learned a thing or two. So during this time, we studied God, faith, and life together. So how can God and faith fit in our own lives? Is there a connection? Is there something how to deal with doubt? I wish I would have those answers. Faith. Faith is a gift that God freely gives to each of us. During your confirmation classes, you have, might, might have begun to ponder about this. You might even get started to get interested in Jesus. Faith is God's gift to each and every one of us. But the choice, how one answers to God is one's own. And as you heard on today's gospel text, Jesus said, why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to another, who then is this? But even the wind and the sea obey him. Amazing. Do you know, Believing in Jesus can be dangerous stuff. Do you know why? It might just change you. Sometimes change is difficult, as we have learned during these past, what, 15 some months, and had to readapt how we live our lives today. Jesus might bring some similar thoughts in your minds, change your life, and it could be scary. He also said in the text today, do not be afraid. So to have faith is about searching, asking questions, and to wonder. Life is about, is about making choices even after confirmation. The little tidbits you learned at the confirmation classes will stay with you for a long time. Yet the confirmation is not just a one experience or choice in the midst of all the choices in life. It is more like a place to stop to look at one's life and think what choices are worth our while to make. To whom one can could rely to rely on in the crossroads of life with whom to journey along. When you make these choices, keep your eyes open and especially keep your heart open. Love God with all your heart, with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. Put your trust in God. Even if your own faith falters, God does not. God can handle all our questions and all our doubts. You are a miracle. An awesome miracle. And you are loved. God chose you. Continue in what you learned during confirmation and hold on to it. So thank you. Thank you, Ita, Addison, Brianna, Marcus, Nicholas, Mika, Teja, Atu, Harper, Alessia, Eric, and Hazel. You have taught us, taught me a lot by being your genuine yourselves, being who God created you to be. Amen. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You alone, O oh Lord, are holy. Come and fill
fill our hearts with your peace. Alleluia. Dear friends, we give thanks for the gift of baptism and for these youth one with us in the body of Christ, who are making public affirmation of their baptism. I present Ita Alatalo, Addison Baker, Brianna Browning, Marcus Jokinen, Nicholas Lebel, Mika Leppälä, Teija Leppälä, Aatu Littmanen, Harper Murskog, Alessia Pereira, Eric Raymond, and Hazel Valitalo. Let us pray. Merciful God, we thank you for these sisters and brothers whom you have made your own by water and the word in baptism. You have called them to yourself, enlightened them with the gift of your spirit, and nourished them in the community of faith. Uphold your servants in the gifts and promises of baptism, and unite the hearts of all whom you have brought to new birth. We ask this in the name of Christ. Amen. Please unmute yourselves. I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I renounce, I renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I, I renounce them. I renounce them. And all you others gathered over there, over here and over in with your youth everyone together. Do you believe in God the Father? I do I believe in God, God the Father, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, Suffered under I died and was crucified, died, and was buried, and ascended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He did the right hand of other. He will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Catholic, the Holy Catholic Church, the unity of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, of the body in the every life. So, you have made public profession of your faith. You intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism. To live among God's faithful people, to hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper, to, to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed, to serve all people following the example of Jesus, and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. God to help and guide me. People of God, do you promise to support these sisters and brothers and pray for them in, in their life in Christ? We do. And we are to help and guide us. I invite whoever is present in your screens to put your hands above the being confirmed. Okay. Okay. As you are able. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit you give us new birth, cleanse us from sin, 
and raise us to eternal life. Stir up in Ita, Addison, Brianna, Marcus, Nicholas, Mika, Thea, Atu, Harper, Alessia, Eric, and Hazel, the gift of your Holy Spirit, the, wis the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. 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 Let us rejoice with Ita, Addison, Brianna, Marcus, Nicholas, Mika, Thea, Harper, Alessia, Eric, and Hazel, our siblings in Christ. We rejoice with you and the life of the Baptist. Dear Adu, Addison, Alessia, Brianna, Eric, Harper, Hazel, Ita, Marcus, Mika, Nicholas, and Taya. Uh, my name is Sarah Tatum, and I am the congregational. Um, Council Chair for Agricultural Lutheran Church, and it is my great pleasure on behalf of the Church Council and the congregation um, to welcome you on this, your Confirmation Day, a day of celebration, a culmination of the year of study and reflection, working together and getting to know each other better. Your Confirmation class has been unique. Many of you may not even have met in person, but fortunately through, through Zoom, you have been able to participate and to get to know each other a bit better. By the gift of grace, through your baptism many years ago, you were made a child of God. The grace of your confirmation deepens that grace and completes the sacrament of baptism. Confirmation is a sacrament of maturity and coming of age. Over the years, your families and friends have seen you grow into beautiful young men and women. You are all individuals with special gifts and talents. Some of you are into sports, some are into music and the arts, some into electronics, and some of you are outgoing, others are reflective, some vocal and others quietly participating. But each of you is unique, and we are so very proud of you. Use your talents and gifts wisely. It was wonderful to hear your presentations. Uh, we didn't get to hear all of them and I look forward to hearing them on the 20th uh, in that service um, where you express your learning journey so well. Our prayer for you is that through this important sacrament, you have received the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage and the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Through your confirmation, you will be more deeply joined to Christ the Lord Jesus, who loved you so much, he gave his life. May God guide you to where there is sun and warmth, but makes you remember the rain and cold, so you can appreciate all that is good in life, in this beautiful world whose safety is in our care. May he help you to be an adult who is strong and proud, but help you keep the child within, who tells jokes, plays video games, plays sports, listens to music, and has fun with family and friends. May God watch over you when you make mistakes and help you understand that perfection is not your goal, but let love and relationships guide your journey. Dear Confirmands, congratulations on your confirmation. We hope to see you at Agricola at services, in youth groups and special events. Our door is always open when it can be. You are always welcome. Congratulations. Thank you, Sarah. Let us pray. Let us come before the triune God in prayer. Holy God, you gather your people from east and west, north and south. We pray for the mission of the church throughout the world, that your steadfast love may be made known to all peoples. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our, Hear our prayer. You laid the foundations of the earth and the waters are the womb of creation. The morning stars sing your name and all creation shouts for joy. We pray for your blessed creation that it may continue to flourish and magnify your glory. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. 
keep watch over all nations. We pay, pray for countries experiencing violence, hunger, and unrest. Guide worldwide and local community organizations in their efforts to establish safety and justice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, our prayer. prayer. You are close to the brokenhearted and near to those in distress. We pray for those who are experiencing oppression. Liberate us from the systems and chains that bind us. Remove the barriers that separate us from one another. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Your prayer. You dwell with us in this faith community. We pray for our leaders and elders. Grant them knowledge, patience, and kindness that through their leadership, you may be exalted in this assembly. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Your prayer. Lord God, guide Ita, Addison, Brianna, Marcus, Nicholas, Mika, Teia, Atu, Harper, Alessia, Eric, and Hazel on their faith journeys. Enlighten them with the gifts of your spirit and nourish them in the community of faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Your love endures in all situations. On this Father's Day, June 20th, we pray for those who are fathers or wish to be fathers, for those with broken or strained relationships, for those who are missing their fathers, and for fathers who have lost children. Bless and strengthen them, Lord. In your we lift all our prayers to you, O God, trusting in your abiding grace. Amen. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also, and also with you. With you. Let us pray. Merciful God, you open wide your hand and satisfy the need of every living thing. You have set this feast before us. Open our hands to receive it. Open our hearts to embrace it. Open our, open our lives to live it. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it right, is right to give our thanks and praise. and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ. Who on this day overcame death and the grave, and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. And so, with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Blessed are you coming here to your church in wine and bread, raised from soil, raised from dead. You are holy, you are holy, you are holy evermore, and we never understand. You are always at heart, since are coming here, blessed are you. Holy, you are holiness. 
the cosmos, praise you, Lord. Sing Hosanna in the highest. Sing Hosanna. Sing Hosanna to the Lord. Holy God, in the harmonious world of your creation, the plants and animals, the seas and stars were whole and well in your praise. When we messed up, you sent your son to heal our ills and to form us again into one. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in the remembrance of me. Again after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering, therefore, his acts of healing, his body given up, and his victory over death. We await that day when all the peoples of the earth, earth will come to the river to enjoy the tree of life. Send your spirit upon us and upon this meal. As grains scattered on the hillside become one bread, so let your church be gathered from the ends of the earth that all may be fed with the bread of life, your Son. Through him all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, both now and forever. Amen. 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 Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven. hallowed by thy name, be thy, name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be thy done, will be on, done earth on earth as it is now. Heaven that in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, our daily bread and forgive and us our trespasses, as we as forgive those who trespass against, against, against us. us. And, and lead us into temptation, and deliver us from evil, and from the kingdom, kingdom and, the power, and the power, and the glory, glory forever and ever. And ever. Amen. 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 Come, let us eat, for the feast is spread. The body of Christ given for you. You can do this same way to each other there at your homes, saying the body of Christ given for you. And then with uh, wine, the blood of Christ shed for you.
the body and blood of Lord Jesus Christ strengthen and keep you in his grace. Amen. Let us pray. Jesus, bread of life, we have received from your table more than we could ever ask. As you have nourished us in this meal, now strengthen us to love the world with your own life. In your name we pray. Amen. shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. 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 Let us now join in the singing, the sending hymn
Oh, indeed, to our body of Christ. Thanks be to God. And thank you again for being at the confirmation class and now here today. Hope to see you all here someday. Don't be strangers. We will open up eventually. And we still need to decide that day when we all get together here and have communion here at the altar rather than on this thing. So hopefully we can do it in person rather than through Zoom or the internet. So I'm really looking forward to, to it and actually getting to meet each and every one of you. Take care. Have a blessed rest of the week, weekend, and a blessed week to come. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you'll get the link for the worship.